Hello Internet! My name is Henrik Ilemo and today we're going to have some fun with the new Microsoft Surface Go 2. Please join me on this improvised review that is recorded, edited and uploaded completely on the new Microsoft Surface Go 2. The new Surface Go is well balanced with portability and on-the-go productivity. With a bigger 10.5 inch touchscreen, better resolution and a longer battery life than the previous generation. It ships with two different processors. The one I've selected is the 8th generation Intel Core M3 processor and the 128GB SSD drive. Some key accessories to the Surface Go 2 is the Surface Go Type Cover that acts both as a keyboard and a cover. The Surface Pen has a magnet that connects to the side of the surface and can be really helpful to visualize your ideas and to become more productive. Together with the Microsoft 365 cloud services, this tiny device becomes a productivity monster. In comparison with other similar devices, the Surface Go 2 offers the full native Windows 10 desktop experience. Collaboration tools like Microsoft Whiteboard feels like a natural surface to share ideas and innovate together with others in real time. Using the Surface Pen, mouse and keyboard and smart features like ink to shape makes it easier to visualize concepts and to share ideas. With modern SharePoint and OneDrive document management, you can easily synchronize documents from the cloud and work offline and seamlessly synchronize back to the cloud when reconnected. Some of the key features for me is the possibility to edit and execute custom code using the Surface Go 2 as a sidekick to my main workstation and as a complementary device on the go to bridge the gap from my limited mobile device. Using the full functionality of a desktop tool like uh, recording videos in PowerPoint is really helpful for the productivity. Editing video can be very demanding for any computer. Now in Windows 10 the updated Photos application includes a rather lightweight video editor that the energy optimized processor can manage. This video is edited in the Windows 10 video editor on the Surface Go 2. It is possible to use more demanding applications for video editing, but the experience will be rather slow and probably counterproductive for your workflows. Another key area for the Surface Go 2 is online meetings using tools like Microsoft Teams. The Surface Go has a 5 megapixel front-facing camera with 1080p full HD video and an 8 megapixel rear-facing autofocus camera on the back. The central placement of the camera makes it easy to look good on the camera. Using advanced filters and real-time streaming tools like Open Broadcaster is really pushing the capacity for this device. For my use case, the Surface Go 2 is offloading the processing power of my main device and also eliminates the risks of accidentally sharing sensitive data from my main device. A good design includes both form and function. The Surface Go 2 has a good design. Any device that improves my workflow and makes me more effective is well worth looking into. 
Thanks for watching and remember to like and subscribe if you wish to see more content just like this. Until next time, stay safe.